do you see uh, an impossible to avoid conflict? Like, do you, what what do you see when you look at this whole thing long term? Well, I would say I can't look at it long term, and the reason for that is that, and this is why I get a kick out of all the Kek, Kekistan boys. You know, I do believe that what we're is, in a period of chaos. What's a Kekistan? Kek. Oh, Kek is a mythological country that's ruled by chaos, by the god Kek, who's a frog, by the, who's a frog, as it turns out. Um, uh, so I don't, know, I don't know about this. this oh, is, well, you need to look them up. That's a big internet thing, Kekistan. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. A big internet thing? All I know about the frog thing. is the frog, the Trump frog, mm -hmm. the Pepe, the frog, who, they've, who is apparently so distraught that his frog has been used to uh, yes, align he killed with, him off. Eh? Yeah, he killed him off. But good luck, he didn't. <laughs> All right, so the that's stupid the because pe the that's people not who work. were um, who were using Pepe, I haven't got the story quite right, but I'll get it mostly right. The people who were using Pepe as a meme. Um, there it is. Used, yeah, that, that's Republic it. of Kekistan. Yeah, so they, so they, so they. used this symbol k-e-k -E -K, uh -huh. to replace l-o-l and the reason they did that was because k-e-k -E -K in korean means l-o-l and so it was just this little joke kek k-e-k -E -K. well then somebody found out these were people who were using peppy remember it's a frog then people found out that kek was an egyptian god and he was a frog and he was between categories sort of like a transsexual by the way he was between categories, and so now they have this Republic of Kek, and it's ruled by this Egyptian god, whose name is Kek, who's a frog. Hold on, go back, go back, don't, don't keep changing this. Jamie's doing this in the background while you're talking. But look at this, there's a frog with a Make America Great Again hat, and he's, he's got like a tombstone. It says, those who served in the meme war, 2015 and 2016, we are the gods of the great meme war. We are the shit posters, the legion of Keck. We are the internet, the death of the normies. Lulls and Keck, we are one. What in the fuck is going on? That, that is the question, and that's the question you ask me. And my answer was, I don't know. We're in a period of chaos. We're in a period of chaos. And in a period of chaos, the time horizon shrinks because, no, because the outcome is uncertain. Well, this, this is why they, we are the shit posters. Do you know what shit posting is? Yeah. Jamie, explain shit posting. You're really good at explaining it. You're, you do. Posting for like literally no reason other than to get someone mad. It's almost like trolling, but it's like a, a separate level of trolling, right? That's right. a good way to say it. Yeah, it's a good way to say Provocation it. Provocation for its own sake. Jamie's right. the first person to uh, uh, tell me about shit posting. I wasn't aware. Till about what? A year ago? Yeah, I think it was, yeah, right Probably around about pre election time. I did not know. So, I mean, there's rules for operating in chaos. Mm. Right, because that's when you're in the belly of the beast or the belly of the whale, and you're right. underwater. You're in the underworld. There's everything to you. That's the underworld. That's why the hero always goes into the underworld to find a cave full right. of gold that's guarded by a dragon. In the right. Hobbit, literally. Yeah, yeah well, and smog. that's Beowulf, right? Yeah, that's, that's, sure. And that's yeah. the oldest story of mankind. It's really the our old oldest story. Wow. And so that the underworld is chaos. It's, it's chaos, and down there, there's all sorts of play of possibility. And the reason the frog was the, go was the guardian of chaos is because the, the frog is this thing that doesn't fit into categories. You see, because it's partly water, it's partly land. It's tadpole, yet it's, it's adult, right? So it's like a fish, and then it's like an animal. It doesn't fit. And it's things that don't fit that blow apart the categories, right? Well, that's what the transsexuals do to the category of gender, for example. And that puts you in this state of chaos, puts you in this state of chaos.